Hi everyone, my name is Kunjal Deliwala. I'm the solutions engineer here at Qmetri. Today, I will walk you through the test cycle module that we have in Qmetri Automation Studio. Now to navigate to the test cycle module, we have all the different modules on the left-hand side bar. You can select the test cycle module and click on it. Now, test cycle module is where users can bring in multiple platforms that you have created your test scripts for and perform the actual execution. This is also where you can create jobs within a test cycle. So one test cycle can have multiple jobs. And then we also have an option of executing uh, and performing some batch executions as well. Now, from the UI perspective, you can uh, create uh, different folders and have different test cycles part of that folder. Or you can create a test cycle uh, uh, which will contain multiple jobs and you can perform cross-platform executions as well. Now, let's create a new test cycle. Let's name it as sample demo test cycle. Click on create. Now, once you create a test cycle, I can then go ahead and create jobs within a test cycle. So uh, let's create a new job. You can give it your own name. Let's say Chrome job. And this is where you can select the profile where you want uh, to perform this particular execution. Let's select Chrome profile here. Now here you have two options of running all the tests with a new session or running the tests parallel. Uh, so if you select run tests in parallel, this is where you will need to provide the maximum session limit. So let's say I give the number as 30. So this means that for example, if you have 100 test cases as part of this job, and if the session limit is 30 that you have provided, then first 30 test cases will execute in parallel, after which the remaining 30 will execute. After that, the remaining 30 will execute and then the remaining 10 will execute in parallel. So this is how the running tests parallel option would work. So as soon as I create a new job, I, I can then enable and disable the job as well. Also, once the job has been added, I can then go ahead and link test cases to part to be part of this particular job. So if I click on link test cases, I can bring in a different kind of scripts into a single job. So let's say if you want to bring web, mobile, API, all into a single job, that's completely possible. So let's go ahead and select multiple test cases to be part of this job. So let's say that under this job, I have linked four test cases. Now we can create multiple jobs under a single test cycle as well. So let's create a new job. Let's give it a name as web integration. And again, I can, I'll select Chrome profile and um, I will give the maximum session limit and click on create. So in this job, again, I will need to link the test cases to be part of this job. So I'll click on link test cases. Again, bring in whatever test cases I would like to have from one folder. Let's say I want to have another test cases from different folders as well. So let's say that this job contains three test cases that are linked. And finally, let's create a new job. Uh, let's name it as Firefox. And let's select the profile as Firefox. Click on Create. And as soon as you create the jobs, you can link the test cases. So this is how you can create multiple jobs and inside each job, you can link one or multiple test cases to be part of that particular job. Now, in terms of job, 
if you click on the three dots, you will be able to edit or delete a job as well. So if you ed click on edit, you will be able to edit the name, change the profile, change how you want to actually run the tests. Or maybe let's say if you don't want the job anymore, you can completely delete the job or you can even enable or disable the job in this way. So this is how you can create multiple jobs and link test cases inside the job. Thank you for watching.